Well, good afternoon, my name is Rory Young, I'm the farmer here at Plasco. We're going to have the official naming ceremony and we're also going to have uh, the unveiling of uh, the local charitable trust which has been set up. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an exciting day and the weather so far is behaving and uh, we're going to go back to the village hall afterwards and enjoy Gunyan's Gala Day with a barbecue and, and some drinks later on. We ask Gunyan Primary School to um, run a competition within all the pupils to pick three names for the three turbines. So we're going to unveil the winner of that this afternoon. The project started back in 2008. Uh, it took us till 2014 to get planning permission for it. It took nearly a year to build. There was a new road built up here. All these new roads were built as part of the wind farm. All the turbines are all interconnected. There's a satellite dish on the side of this turbine. That it's connected 24 hours a day through a satellite link to the factory in Germany. So they monitor the turbines all the time. They're all controlled remotely. If anything goes wrong with them, they can quite often do it remotely with diagnostics or they send out teams to sort them. Can anyone here, this is for adults and children, can anyone here guess at what the highest wind speed is we've recorded at the wind farm so far? 97 miles an hour is the highest wind speed we've recorded at the wind farm so far. And above the ground with what you can see, there's 97 tonnes. So there's just over 50 tonnes in the tower and there's just under 50 tonnes on the nacelle at the top and the blades and the generator at the top. Since the turbines were built, they've, they've been here for just over a year. They've produced 5.4 million kilowatt hours of electricity, which the average Scottish household consumes 4,400 kilowatt hours a year. So the turbines have generated enough power for 1,200 homes since they've been built. Yeah, these turbines became carbon neutral after about six months. The fund has been set up because Kagunyan and Serndon area is going to receive uh, an annual revenue of what these things produce. So every time they go around, the Kagunyan area is going to benefit. The main objectives are education, social, environmental, economic and employment. It's just a case of filling in one of these application forms. Uh, we're going to go and hand out some of these leaflets to tell you more information and how to get in touch with the, the thing. So uh, I encourage anybody with any good projects and ideas to come forward and uh, apply. We ran this competition with the primary school to come up with a name, but the person whose name names were picked is Lily Bolam. And give that a good pull on this side. There you go.